بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم بی اے سٹوڈنٹس وی آر سٹڈنگ دا کورس کوانٹم میکینکس 2 دس از لیکچر نمبر 4 فور کلاس بی اے 6 سیمسٹر ایڈ ایم ایس ای پارٹ 1 آئی ایم یور انسٹرکٹر جمشید عالم خان ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو سٹڈی اباؤٹ ڈی جنریٹ پرٹربیشن تھیری ان ڈی جنریٹ پرٹربیشن تھیری وی نو دیٹ ان ڈی جنریٹ اسٹیٹس ٹو اور مور اسٹیٹس کراسپونڈس ٹو سیم انرجی لیول here if unperturbed states are degenerate we can say that two or more distinct states let's say psi a naught and psi b naught share the same energy then the ordinary perturbation theory fails we learned in the previous lecture how to write first order correction in wave function and second order correction in energy these are the two equations but the problem here is that if the two distinct states psi a naught and psi b naught share the same energy then these two equations will blow up and the ordinary perturbation theory fails so what we should have to do is we have to use another technique to handle such problems here we are going to use the degenerate perturbation theory we are considering here the two fold degeneracy suppose h not psi a not is equal to e not psi a not and h not psi b not is equal to e not and psi b not here the two different states psi a and psi b yields the same energy level e not and e not here we consider the inner product of these two states psi a and psi b is equal to 0 then the linear combination of these states is of the form psi not is equal to alpha psi a not plus eta times psi b not eigen states of h not with same eigen values e not so here the linear wave equation for the ground state is written as h not psi not is equal to e not psi not typically the perturbation hp will break the degeneracy as we increase lambda from 0 to 1 as we know that hamiltonian h can be written as h not plus hp hp multiplied by lambda lambda increase from 0 to 1 the common energy e not between the two states after applying the perturbation will split into two part here you can see in the diagram this e not will split into the two part now we want to solve the schrodinger wave equation h psi is equal to e psi this is the form of hamiltonian h is equal to h not plus lambda times h p and e is equal to e not plus lambda times e1 plus lambda times e2 the linear combination of energy eigen values and psi can be expressed as the linear combination of the wave function psi not plus lambda times psi1 plus lambda square psi2 now use these equations in equation number 4 and collecting the like power of lambda we will get the equation of the form expressed it over here h not psi not plus lambda times h p psi not plus h not into psi 1 up to so on and e not psi not plus lambda into e1 psi not plus e not to psi 1 here h not psi not plus e not psi not corresponds to ground state energy and comparing the power of lambda 1 we will get this equation now here take the product of this equation number 8 with psi a not psi a not into h not into psi 1 this is the first term and psi a not into h p and psi not the second term on the right hand side we will get e not into the product of psi a not into psi 1 and e1 psi a not into psi not here we use the condition of hermeticity as psi not can be expressed by the linear combination of the two states function psi a and psi b applying the condition of hermeticity on the left hand side h not can be written on the left side of this wave function psi a not and replacing the value of psi not over here as alpha a not 
and theta psi beta in this equation. And similarly, on the right hand side, we put the value of psi naught. Now, simplify the left hand side at naught operator, operate on the wave function, we will get this form P naught psi A naught psi 1. This term will cancel on the right hand side with this part E naught psi A naught and psi 1. The remaining two terms on the left hand side is alpha and beta. We replace this inner product psi a naught hp and psi a naught with w a a and the second part the product psi a naught hp and psi b naught is replaced by w a b. So we will get this equation alpha w a a plus beta w a b while on the right hand side this term goes to 0 and this term goes to 1. So right hand side is alpha times b1. Now again from equation number 8 we can take the product with psi b0 and apply the same steps over here and use the condition of permittivity, simplify the equations, cut the terms on both sides and we will get this form of equation alpha wba plus beta wbv is equal to beta times b1. Now multiply this equation 12 with wab on both sides. So we will get this form alpha wba wab plus beta times wbv and wab and is equal to beta times wab and e1. Now replace the value of beta wab from equation number 10 in equation 12a. This equation 12a looks like alpha into wba and wab plus wbb alpha times e1 minus alpha wba is equal to e1 and alpha e1 minus alpha wba. Now multiply the brackets collecting the powers of e1 and e1 square and the constant term in which e is not involved we will get this form equation e1 square is minus e1 wba plus wbb minus wb a and WAB minus WAA and WBB is equal to zero. This is the quadratic equation in variable E1. Now apply the quadratic formula over here minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4AC over 2A. We will get this sort of equation as expressed by equation number 17. E plus minus 1 is equal to WAA plus WBB plus minus square root of WAA minus WBB whole square plus 4 into more of WAB whole square divided by 2. This is the fundamental result of degenerate perturbation. The two rules corresponds to two perturbed energies. If we consider alpha is equal to 0 and beta is equal to 1, then equation number 10 becomes WAB is equal to 0. And equation number 12 is now of the form E1 is equal to WBB. Hence, the equation number 17 can be reduced as for E plus, it is written as WAA, and for minus part, it is written as WBB. Or we can say that the two different eigenstates now have the two different energies at that. So we solve the problem of degeneracy by applying the perturbation to the two different eigenstates. Thank you.